What's up everybody and welcome back. Today's video I'm going to be going over how to port forward. Um, I thought I would note real quick before I kick the video off that my router is a Belkin router. Um, your make and model may be different than mine, but all routers are basically the same when it comes to port forwarding. So first things first, you're going to want to come down here to the Windows button. In the search programs and files, you're going to want to type in CMD, click enter, and it should bring up the command prompt. If you can't find it that way, you can go to all programs, go to your accessories, and as you can see, there's the command prompt there, and it'll bring it up. Next, what you're going to want to type in is I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G, and click enter, and that's all one word. Take a quick break, and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, so I'm back now. The next step you're going to want to do is take note of the IPv, I apologize, the default gateway address, which is, uh, in my case, 192.168.2.1. As you can see, I already have it in my web address. And then you'll just click enter. Now, what this does is it allows you to access your router. Um, if this is your first time accessing it, um, you shouldn't need a password. You should just be able to click it and then you can set a password after afterwards or while you're in here adjusting the settings all right once I get in mine what you'll want to do is go down to virtual servers and as you can see here this is how you will want to set it up you will actually have to make two in the description minecrafts um, be sure to uh, check mark the enable boxes you'll need one where the oh I should uh, also note that the inbound port is 25565 on the first one. The type is TCP. The private IP address. You get your private IP address if you come back over here to your command prompt. Your IPv4 address. The last number you see after the two dot. The, those last two numbers are the last one number in some cases. Is the numbers you're going to want to enter here. And then again, you're going to want to enter private port number 25565. And then again, you'll just basically replicate the same information until you get to the type. And you'll want to make this one a UDP. After you're done with that, you'll just want to click Apply Changes. Now, you might want to note that if people are on your network at the time, um, you might want to wait till they're done doing what they're doing because this will restart your router. I won't be doing this in the video due to the fact that my wife's working. Okay, so after we're done with that, you can then exit out of the browser. Then what you're going to want to do is come down here to either your wireless signal or your Ethernet signal. Right-click it. Open Network and Sharing Center. Click your connections. Mine's local area connection. Yours might be different. Then you're going to want to go to the Properties tab. Once here, you're going to want to make sure that your Internet Protocol version 6 is unchecked and that Internet Protocol version 4 is checked. After that, double-click the Internet Protocol version 4. As you can see here, if the Obtain IP address automatically is checkmarked, you're going to want to uncheck that and uh, check Use the following IP address. Your IP address is your IPv4 address that you'll put in this box here. Your subnet mask, as you can see over here in your command prompt, is what you'll want to enter in this column. As well as your default, you'll want to enter here. Then you want to come down here, check this box if it's not check, check marked. Preferred DNS will be your default gateway. Alternate DNS we leave alone. Validate settings upon accident we leave alone. After you're finished, be sure to click OK. After you're finished with that, be sure to click OK. And then we'll just click close. Then we can exit out of that. Alright, so after we've exited out of that, we'll have to then go back to the web. You'll want to go to IP Chicken. Click on this. This will give you your web address, or your computer's address, your current computer's address. This is the address that people will use to connect to your server. Uh, if you caught my last video on setting up a server, you can click localhost to connect to your server. You can as well as use this address to connect to your server. Um, for video purposes and security reasons, I've blocked this out. So with that, I will copy this. Now I'll go back here to my 
bucket server. Run it. Now that that's finished loading, we'll slide it to the side. I'm going to bring up my Minecraft. Log in. And just to show that we um, set up the web address correct, I'm going to add the server. I'm then going to put in the IP address from IP Chicken that p other people can use to connect. You can use this as well, but localhost is the best way to connect. As you can see, my server's now showed up. I'll click it just to show, show that it. we can join. And as you can see, yet again, I'm in my server. And that, that, that basically wraps it up. Uh, there's not really that much to port forwarding. It's just that uh, a lot of people seem to omit steps and forget to include things. I had a hard time setting this up myself today. And I had to go over bits and pieces over the internet, you know, do a lot of web scouring in order to finally get the end result where I could connect to my own damn server. But I figured I'd put a video together, man, try to make it as clear cut and clean as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up. That's all I got for you guys today. This has been Too Cold, and I'm out. Peace.